Okay, well welcome to my crew quarters on board the International Space Station. Like I said before, it's not very big, it's actually quite small, but it's a great place to keep your personal items. This is where we sleep. I hang my sleeping bag on the wall here, and I sleep in this every night. Unfortunately for me, I'm actually a little too tall for this crew quarter, so I actually, actually have to stretch my sleeping bag out at an angle so that I don't have my head up against the ceiling. But once you're sleeping, you really don't know what angle you're at in space here, so it's quite comfortable. My back wall, I've got my family portraits, my family pictures. Got, of course, got a bag of water in case I get thirsty at night. The other thing that's very convenient here inside our crew quarters is our computers. We have two different computers, two different laptop computers. It's amazing. There's got to be at least 100 laptop computers on board the International Space Station. We use them for all different things. This one computer right here, this is connected to the onboard servers, the International Station's, Space Station servers. This is where we can check our schedules, we can check our official email, we can check uplink messages from the ground. This is where we do all our work on a daily basis. This computer over here is connected to the internet on the ground when we do have KU band coverage and when everything is working properly. We don't want to do the same, these two things. We don't want to cross, uh, have these two computers crosstalk, if you will, because we're worried about viruses from the internet getting on board the International Space Station. So basically, by keeping them on separate servers, separate systems, it keeps those viruses off of the space station. So that's about it. You know, I have some personal items hanging up, and uh, again, it, it's a great place to just come in here and unwind and, uh, and relax. And uh, when it's time to go to sleep, we simply close the doors and see you in the morning.